Hi everybody, it's Linnea for Simon Hurley Create, and today I am going back to what is probably my most favorite stamp set from the Simon Hurley Create product line. It's the Sentimental Flowers stamp set. I love this one. It's easy to color. I have ink blended over this. I have watercolored, but I have not yet done um, really copic colored them. I've colored them in white a bunch of times because I love white flowers, but today I'm going to be adding actually some color. I'm pairing this with the sketched bouquet background, and this sketch bouquet background matches the flowers from the Sentimental Flower stamp set. They're just a smaller scale, so I thought it would be great to pair them together. I put that into my Misty stamping platform, and I'm going to ink this up with some Woof ink so this is like a um, kind of like a brownish warm gray color. I'm going to stamp this a couple times to build up color and when I'm done I'm going to have this pretty pretty background. Now you could use this as the focal point of your card and color this in but instead I stamped out the sentimental flowers um, stamps instead and I there are three sizes of the flowers and three sizes of the leaves and there's actually two different kinds of leaves. One has kind of more jagged edges and then there are ones that have more smooth edges. I went with the smooth edges. I'm going to just color in one of these flowers and then one of the leaves because my coloring is very simple. I used RV04, um, RV13, RV21, and then RV10 for the pink flower. For my yellow I used Y19, Y08, and Y06. And then I also did a teal colored flower where I used BG15, BG13, BG34, and BG11. So really easy coloring. I like to start dark to light. That way I get a lot of depth and a lot of dimension. But the great thing about the flowers in the stamp set are all those black lines add easy dimension for you. So you really don't have to take a lot of time to color. So in fact, most of the time when I use the stamp set, I keep the flowers white because I like those black line details or I like to do some embossed resist ink blending and just make it really easy to add color. For my leaves, I'm using YG09, YG06, and YG03. Same coloring technique as I did with the flowers. I'm just going to start with my darkest, blend out with my medium, and then color any remaining areas that are left with my lightest color. And then I'm going to cut them all out with my scissors. I did go back and I stamped one more of each of the leaf sizes so that I would have extra leaves. Now I'm just going to arrange my little flowers into a cluster on top of my background. I'm going to poke some leaves in here and there and just create a nice little kind of bouquet of flowers for my background. I did also stamp that Hello Friend. That is also from the Sentimental Flower stamp set. Another reason I love that stamp set is because I love the mix of the um, print and script font. I think it's and I think it's actually Simon Hurley's handwriting. It's I love the sentiments in that stamp set. I added some foam tape behind all the flowers as well as the sentiment. And then I'm just going to add that right into the center of my card. And for a second, I thought about cutting off the overhang on the left and right hand side where the flowers hang off the edge of the card, but there's not enough overhang where I thought I could justify cutting it off. So instead, I'll either create a custom sized envelope or I'll just put this in a larger five by seven envelope to mail this. And I like having that overhang just a little bit. I think it brings a little bit of extra something to the card. So this is it, really easy, one and done, finished. I hope that you enjoyed this quick card tutorial. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.